Soul clap. Soul clap. Come on, everybody. Soul clap. Soul clap. Stop. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Mmm. Dreams become food. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Coca-Cola is a delicious beverage on a hot summer day, but did you know it has many other uses? For instance, you can kill slugs in your garden, you can get the oil stains off of cement, and you can defrost a windshield with it. More relevant to our purposes today, you can make barbecue sauce with it, so that's what we're gonna do. We're making a Jack and Coke barbecue sauce, and we're gonna put it on some oven smoked ribs. There's no oven smoking, you're just ovening the ribs. They're just ovened ribs. And if you're following along at home, you can snag the time codes right there. So clap. So clap. Come on, everybody. Stop! Let's get cooking. We got ribs. Is that a good opener? Yeah. I felt good about that. All right, so we got a rack of baby back ribs right now. I know what you're thinking. Wow, you got a ribs off the back of a baby? No, baby back ribs are a portion of the ribs that are, <laughs> I'm gonna show you on my own breast. The baby back ribs, if they were on me, I'm not exposing my nipple to you, they would be the more bottomer ribs, so that's what we got here. It's like an ironic nickname, like calling a, a tall guy a shorty. What I'm saying is, you gotta dry rub your ribs. We got salt going in there. Keep in mind, these are gonna have a very sweet, delicious Coca-Cola barbecue sauce that's going on. We're gonna throw a little bit of Jack Daniels in there, so we wanna play with the like kind of sweeter side. This is my sweeter side hand motion, the kind of sweeter side of the dry rub spectrum. Black pepper, we're gonna throw in a fair amount of paprika and just a little bit of cayenne for heat, because for me, sweet and heat go really well together. I want to avoid flavors like onion and garlic because I don't like when you get that kind of vegetabliness with the sweet stuff. And we're going to throw in a little bit of brown sugar in there. And then we're just going to use a spoon to sort of mash it up. We're not using a smoker today because uh, we don't have one. We're about to throw these ribs in the oven. If you have a grill, you can do that. Keep it on a really low heat, wrap it in foil to kind of insulate it. But honestly, in like the average home, just cooking ribs in an oven, you can make them really good and you can give them a little bit of barbecue flavor with the right dry rub and with the right preparation. Speaking of preparation H, I have no idea what a hemorrhoid is, but I feel like I've had them. Like, I don't understand where it lives or what it is, but I'm like, from what people say, I think I have experienced it. So what we're gonna do to infuse that barbecue flavor, we're gonna take some liquid smoke, just about a half teaspoon, and we're gonna add it to some yellow mustard. So we're gonna go ahead and take that liquid smoke and the mustard, and we're just gonna give it a nice smear on the ribs. Not only is it gonna add some of that smoky flavor, it's also gonna add like a paste for your ribs to have something to stick to. You've heard of food sticking to your ribs, you want food to stick to these ribs. And then we're gonna take our dry rub, and we're just gonna lovingly ladle it. If your body had a ladle, it'd be and what you could do is wrap this and let it sit in the fridge overnight. That's kind of going to give you a little bit of that dry briny aspect, which I typically do like on pork. But for some reason on ribs, I like to just keep the natural meaty texture that they have. And when you dry brine it, it's going to give it that little kind of sausagey snap. <laughs> and so if you want fall off the bone tender ribs, all you have to do is put it in an oven at 250 degrees for like anywhere between five and nine hours. And you can make that meat as tender as possible. I don't particularly like that. I like having a little bit of bite to my ribs. So we're actually going to cook it a little bit hotter at about 325 for three hours and we're gonna wrap it in foil so it kind of you know steams together and doesn't get like that aggressive bark and then we are going to hit it with a really high heat on the bake and add some barbecue sauce to it. Hey speaking of barbecue sauce how's about barbecue we barbecue up the sauce right now. So we got a pan heating on high heat and we're gonna take three cans of Coca-Cola one of the world's leading cola products. Oh that burns. I mean, shoot, that burns. So we're gonna take three cans of Coca-Cola and we're gonna add it in there. The theory behind this is Coca-Cola is a majority in just straight corn syrup and delicious cola flavor and also a fair amount of acid. That's why you can use it to like clean cement and all that good stuff because there's so much acid in it. Actually, you know what's funny? In eighth grade, I did a science project. I read on the internet that you can dissolve a T-bone steak off the bone in Coca-Cola. And so I wanted to test that. So I got like nine bone-in pork chops because we're too poor to afford T-bones. And I tried soaking them all in Coca-Cola mixed with different acids and bases. And instead of dissolving it off the bone, I just made mold in the classroom. And when I added bleach to the Coca-Cola, it was the first time in eighth grade that we had to use the fumigation hood. They gave me third place in the science fair uh, out of pity. Anyways, so to those three cans of Coca-Cola, we're gonna add a quarter cup of Jack Daniels, just a quarter cup, just a quarter cup. And then we're gonna let that reduce for about 40 minutes. No, one more thing. We're gonna add onion to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take onion and garlic and we're actually gonna infuse that into this because we wanna take all that sweet Coca-Cola and we wanna get some savory flavors in there. And so all I'm gonna do, trim off the skins. <laughs> and then we're just gonna cut it in half 
And we're gonna let it boil in there so it's gonna infuse the onion flavor in there without actually getting any of that onion pulp. Then you can take all four garlic cloves, palm heel strike it, and then you're just gonna toss those right in there. So now we're gonna let this reduce for about 40 minutes and then we're gonna add our other stuff. All right, so we could stop the cooking process right now and then you just have a beautiful Jack and Coke bisque, but I'm gonna fish out all these onions. You can save these for later for, you know, snacking or feed to your dog. Dogs love onions. Dogs don't love onions. Dogs kill onions. Onions kill dogs. Don't feed your dog onions. We got our onions fished out. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of extra brown sugar. The sugar's not, golly. Nailed it. So we got the sugar in there. We're gonna add some tomato paste to it, just a little bit, just enough to kind of thicken it and give it a little bit of that tomato flavor. You don't need tomato paste in all barbecue sauces, but I do like it. And then we are going to add Worcestershire sauce. That is going to add Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna take about a tablespoon of that dry rub and then we're gonna add it too. I really like when you have a dry rub on the actual meat and then dry rub in the barbecue sauce. To me, that kind of marries it together nice and perfectly. And then all we're gonna do is whisk this up for about five or six minutes, just until it tightens up. You'll know when it's ready to go by when you can stick a spoon in there. I used all my spoons. Hold for spoon. If you see right now, it's a little bit thin. It's syrupy, it's still pouring off. Let's taste the bones. Ooh, it's super sweet, it's acidic. I always forget. We're gonna add some vinegar to it. Whenever there's a clear liquid in a cup, I miss it because I look down and I go, there's nothing in that cup. I'm like a, a dog who doesn't see his own reflection in a sliding glass door and just goes careening through it. Lots of people have compared my intelligence to that of a yellow lab, the dumbest of dogs. Now we're gonna let the barbecue sauce reduce down for just a couple minutes until it coats the side of a spoon. And then we're gonna take those ribs and we're gonna brush them down barbecue sauce and we're gonna get nice and caramelized on top. Tastes like raisins. <laughs> Why come taste like raisins? All right, so ribs have been baking off. So I'm just gonna pull them with the mythical kitchen towel, now available at towel.towel. Just gonna unwrap the ribs. Look at that, those are looking great and they smell like a pork. And now we want to actually get some caramelization on them because right now it's perfectly tender. You see the meat has started to recede from the bone, but the bone is not pulling out and that's actually exactly what I want. So I'm gonna take some of that delicious Jack and Coke barbecue sauce and I'm simply gonna brush down the ribs with it. I'm gonna pop it back in the oven. I've cranked it to 400 degrees and then we wanna get some nice caramelization on it to get some good texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ribs and I'm gonna fly them in the oven. And all we're gonna do is let that sit there for about five minutes and we're gonna brush it again and then we're gonna brush it again. And it's gonna be like that painting of infinite regression where it's a painting of a man painting a man, painting a painting, painting a painting. The ribs are gonna cook for a sec. Look at it. All that sugar in the barbecue sauce has become nice and caramelized. So what I like to do is I like to hold the ribs up with tonges. I'm just gonna turn this into a half rack. I like to just do single cuts on the ribs. Some people do a double cut and then they will leave one of the bones to just kind of like throw to the birds or the dogs. Dogs love ribs, right? Dogs are so-so on ribs. <laughs> they love pulled pork. <laughs> so we're gonna take ribs and we're just gonna cut all of these down and then they're ribs. All right, all our ribs are cut up now. All we can do, I feel like a weird Pokemon. <laughs> I was about to do the Scyther voice and then secondhand embarrassment washed over me. Scyther! <laughs> I can't even do it. There you have it. There are your baby back ribs with Jack and Coke barbecue sauce. All we gotta do is plate these up and then we can get to feeding time. These ribs look fantastic. The barbecue sauce is all caramelized. It's smoky, it's spicy, it's sweet, but I am no expert rib judge. My friend Jake is an expert rib judge. He grew up outside Kansas City. Is that true? That's true. That is true. So I'm a spork Jake. I need his expert opinion. Trevor, <laughs> give me the spork bayonet. So we're gonna keep socially distant, which is why I'm just gonna go ahead and, Jake, I'm gonna try and get you the full rack. Oh. That, yeah, that, yeah, hold please, on. Please, please. I mean, no, like, you're, like, Jake, I know you're a hungry guy. It's true. I got it. You Maybe know, I can just do this. Nailed hold it. Hold on. <laughs> We just sanitized the counters. It's gonna take a little bit like soap, but it's gonna be clean. Yeah. There it is. All right, Jake. Oh, this is working there out beautifully. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We're fine, we got backup ribs. We got, we got guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and like pull stick it over to you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, great, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it'll nice. just get the camera right there. Yeah, just go off the ground, it's clean. Mm. Really good. Yeah, right. That soda becomes a little candied mm -hmm. and you can taste it. And you have a little bit of like raisin lingering. <laughs> <laughs> the raisin linger is what I was going for. No, Ooh, man, win. it's great. I can't believe you made me vegan. <laughs> You're so good. Thank you, Jake, for your expert opinion. Ugh. And thank you so much for stopping by The Mythical Kitchen. We got new recipe videos every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, under hashtag dreams become food with pictures of your mythical dishes. 
I'll see y'all next time. Yeah, Sport Cam. Rock it with a spork in your pocket. Get the Spork Teen now at mythical.com.